a sequel for a Chico man who had one of Netflix's most watched movies last year. New at 5.30, Action News Now reporter Jafet Serrato shares the filmmaker's vision to boost joy through storytelling this holiday season. Everybody is just so grateful that, that the audience has found it and, and the response has been so overwhelmingly uh, positive. Chico native Sean Pacino hit the big time last year with his first Christmas movie. It was called A California Christmas. A story about a wealthy realtor from San Francisco hoping to buy a woman's ranch in Petaluma. Instead, he ended up stealing her heart. It was exactly one year ago that I stumbled onto this property and became a ranch hand. It was so successful, Piccinino made a sequel. He's the fish out of water in the first movie. Now the couple is living their best lives until... Your father's company. Your mother left it in your name. But things are falling apart. So he has to go back to the city and try to fix it taking his love with him. So she's the fish out of water this time. And she's just a small town gal, worked on a ranch her whole life. And now she's being thrust into rooftop parties at the Fairmont Hotel. And things get complicated. What happens to our life in Petaluma? Callie, we can figure this out. Figure yourself out. As you open the Netflix app, you can see it's the second most watched in the country right now. I'm just in shock. I mean, that in of itself is unbelievable. Piccinino has come a long way from starting in Chico. He hopes the movie tugs the heartstrings of the people who watch it. Hopefully we can bring a smile to somebody's face uh, over the holiday season. You know, give them a little bit of an escape for, for an hour and a half. Even if it's just one person. In Chico, Jafet Serrato, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. The movie just came out yesterday on Netflix. As Jafet mentioned, it is number two in the U.S. Uh, the filmmaker went to Pleasant Valley High School, then Butte College, then San Marcos in San Diego, before finding his footing in Los Angeles, where he lives now.